I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play Super Kitty Bug Slap. It's ages six and up. It's technically three to five players, but it's easy to adjust it to play with two, and it takes about 20 minutes. Let me show you how to play. The goal of the game is to get the most points, which you do by slapping cards that are placed out that match at least one feature on your kitty card. Let's say this is a four player game. And so for this, the dealer would take these cards that all have the yellow back on them, shuffle them up, and then randomly deal out three cards to the people who are going to be playing that round. And then the fourth card is put off to the side and discarded. And then each player gets to flip up their cards. Everyone gets to see what the person has selected for their kitty for this round. Uh, it's supposed to be random, but if you really like, you can just pick your favorites. If you want to play a two player version, all you have to do is you just deal out the two cards for yourself and the other person. And instead of having the dealer sit out for the round, they're both laying out cards and trying to slap them at the same time. Once everyone has their kitties in front of them and the dealer has shuffled these cards, uh, they would start to lay out cards and then players slap based on three attributes the shape of the kitty that's out there. It can be round or square, and there's actually a few triangles in here too, which match no one. Uh, the bug can be either a ladybug or a fly, and the color of the kitty can be either uh, orange or purple, and there are a few greens in here that don't match anyone. So either of these two players could slap this, and whoever's first gets to collect it, but, uh, this player is still allowed to slap even though it doesn't match any attribute of their kitty and that's just worth negative points at the end of the game. There are some cards that no one should slap and so if everyone sees this and pulls back and decides not to slap it, then the dealer just moves it to the side and continues to lay out cards and people can slap and collect them and you keep on going until uh, this deck has completely run out. So we'll just say, this is what it looks like. And then it's time to do the scoring for the round. Here's how you score the end of the round. You divide the cards that matched some feature of your kitty and the ones that matched zero of the three features. Um, one positive per matching one, negative two per one that doesn't match. And so this player had 12 positive and six that didn't match. So that ends up with a score of zero for this round. And yes, it is possible to get a negative score on a round. You just record that on a piece of paper and then the player to the left of whoever was the dealer is the new dealer and they do the same thing. They shuffle up these four cards, deal them out randomly to the other three players and then that person deals it. And once every person has had a turn as a dealer, the cumulative score of all of your rounds of play is the final score. And whoever has the most points is the winner. So that's how to play Super Kitty Bug Slap. It's a great little speed game, best theme ever. And I love that you can adjust how intense the game is depending on how many players you're playing with, which is really fun. So check it out. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.